Hi, Andrew Caress is here with Audio Bro. We're very excited to bring to you something we've been working very hard on for over a year, uh, the ARC. ARC stands for Audio Bro Remote Control. And in this video, we're going to briefly introduce you to all of the ARC pages. And for more information on how to use these pages, please refer to our other ARC videos. Basically, the ARC is a very powerful tool that allows you to control one, many, or all of LASS's patches from one place. This saves you time and allows you to experiment with more confidence, um, knowing that you can apply sweeping changes to all your patches with ease. And not only does it allow you to edit patches and make changes like this in real time, but it also allows you to change the sound by use of the stage and color feature, which is something we're very excited about. So here you can see the nine pages that comprise the ARC. Uh, each one contains a whole host of features. And to get the most out of ARC, we recommend that users start with the setup page. And that's where we'll start here. The setup page is where you tell the ARC which of LASS's patches you have loaded into your instance of contact. So for this example, of, I've loaded some spiccato patches. Um, we have violins one, FC, a uh, first chair, A, B, and C, violas, F, first chair, A, B, and C, cellos, or celli, F, first chair, A, B, and C, and bass, A, B, and C. And there you have it. So it's very easy to, to set this up. It takes, it takes a minute. And once you've done this, you're pretty much ready to go. So let's now go to the key switch page. The key switch page is a very powerful tool. And we have other dedicated videos specifically for this page. But just to show you an overview, in this example, I have three key switches that are assigned to different patches. Uh, for example, this one here, it says violins one first chair. And in this example, I have actually four patches assigned to one key switch. So if I press that key switch, which is C0, I will get violins playing, for example. So here, let's And there you hear the violins. Now, if I press this note here, violas FC, it will play violas. And then I have another key switch for cellos. So you can not only just do simple key switches of patches, but you can assign groups of patches to a single key switch. And you'll see that this is a very powerful tool. So in order to get more information, please refer to the other videos regarding this page. And let's move on. Let's go to stage and color. The stage and color page of ARC lets you control some exciting new features in LASS, ranging from the actual tone of the instruments to their stage placement and reverb, all from a single page. We've carefully created sonic profiles inspired by famous film scores and performances that allow LASS to sound very close to the original recordings, and even soloist recordings. These profiles are located in the presets menu at the top right of the color and stage. They include a, a dry preset, Shaw's Redemption, Psycho, Cape Far, the Fellowship Ring. Uh, these are all presets that uh, their names should hearken to the actual performances and movies that inspired them. Stage and Color has so many features. Um, please refer to the other videos uh, regarding Stage and Color to learn more about these features. Okay, next is the Real Legato page. This is basically a remote control page for our Real Legato patches. Uh, everything on this page can basically be sent to one or many or all legato patches in one fell swoop from within contact. And you can purge and load the legato part of the glissando uh, articulations. You can turn on or off the vibrato, non vibrato functionality. You can turn on EQ and all these wonderful things all from one place without having to go scrolling through different patches. And uh, next on the list is the art page. Uh, art stands for the auto rhythm tool. Art is the engine behind all short articulations in LASS. Uh, these would include spiccato, staccato, and pizzicato. And by simply holding down your sustain pedal, you can invoke all sorts of very cool patterns. And this page here allows you to change those patterns um, very easily and assign them to all the patches in one fell swoop or just to certain instrument classes like the violins or the violas or the VCs and stuff like that. So this is a great tool that will inspire experimenting because now you can assign all these different patterns very quickly to all the short articulation patches in LA scoring strings without having to go and scroll through all the different patches and do them manually one by one. Okay, so next on the list is the auto arranger and delay and humanization page. This allows you to basically assign all your auto arranger and divisi rules and delay and humanization rules to your different patches in one location. So you no longer have to go scrolling to the different patches 
and doing them manually one by one. You can apply these changes to one or all or many different patches inside of your instance of contact. This is a very powerful tool and uh, well deserving of its own videos. So please check out our other uh, Auto Ranger videos uh, to get a better idea of what the what its features are. Okay, and moving along, we are now going to go to the tuning tools page. This is a lot of fun. This page allows you, we've included a new micro tuning section right here. And this allows you to create your own scales. And also by choosing a large max tune value, you can also create some great string effects. Uh, for example, like this one, um, I'm just going to uh, assign the first share. I'm going to just going to detune these instruments a little bit like this. Uh, the turn on this MIDI channel and detune this one like that. We'll be having another video to explain more in detail how to use this, but I just want to give you a quick example right here. So using CC3, which is by default assigned to the tune amount knob, I can uh, play something like this just by turning this knob, I can make it more or less, you know, like a string effect. And it's a very cool effect. You can do it in real time and all of the patches, every single LA Scory Strings patch has this functionality. So you can do this with uh, spiccatos, staccatos, legatos, tremolos, um, basically all the LA Scory Strings patches. Okay, so moving to the CC Tables page. The CC Tables page is where you control how the mod wheel or CC1 reacts with LA Scoring strings. Um, all the dynamics of the long articulations of the sustains, the trems, the trills are controlled by CC1. And you can draw your own curve, your own shape to dictate how loud you want the dynamics in LA Scoring strings, um, how you want them tapered. And uh, you, there's a CC Tables video you can watch to get more details. Um, but this is a very powerful tool that allows you to customize how LA Scoring Strings reacts to your mod wheel. Okay, so last but not least is our EQ page. Um, even though we have our new stage and color page that we'll be using our sonic profiles, um, it's still very handy to have an EQ page that you can assign your uh, EQs to a bunch of patches in one fell swoop. So no longer do you have to go in and uh, scroll through all your different patches, enabling or disabling EQs or changing the, the EQs. You can go by section and assign an EQ profile to an entire section or a DVC or um, one or many patches all in one fell swoop. So uh, we're hoping this will be a big time saver and we'll encourage people to do more experimentation with their EQs. Okay, so this should cover it. Uh, I hope you learned something new about the ARC. Uh, we're very excited about it and uh, please check out our other videos that go into much more detail uh, regarding the ARC's features. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Take care.